All right, so I have a lot of waste. Either supports, um, hoops from the bamboo, stuff from prints, um, and that it would be a waste to throw that away. So I'm out here in the garage where I have a toaster oven. And I had the silicone molds, so I thought maybe I could heat this up, shove the filaments in here, and I could make my molds. Look at that. Got my face with all the rainbow colors. That's pretty cool. All right, so that was cool. So I went on Amazon and bought some baking molds. That's some hearts or or booties, I can't tell. Uh, some flowers. What's this? Some uh, mini bunk cakes. Random flowers. More flowers. I did order some bitchin' skulls that haven't come in, so it's not all flowers. But um, I'm gonna try some of these and see what, uh, see how they come out. All right, so there we go. Threw some random poops on top. Hopefully, uh, the heat stay start going down into the molds. Um, set it to like. A little over 410 Fahrenheit, which is melting temperature for PLA. Bake, I think, I think bake hits both the top and bottom heaters. Because um, what, uh, broil is up, toast is, hmm, I don't know. But anyway, 15 minutes. Keeps it from, uh, going in there too long. Easy to forget about these. So that's a good safety measure. And uh, I'll be back in 15. Alright, about five minutes in. It looks like it melted down and I need to top these up by a lot. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I've been feeding them as they've been melting down. I'm just placing it where I think they could use. And uh, they've just been melting in a little bit. And just melt right in there. Um, much close to the end, just seeing which ones are not filled to the brim yet. All I have to do is really is just lower them and push them in there and then the melted PLA just sticks onto there. So there's really not much finesse. You just drop it in there and it gets stuck. Sometimes upright and then you just kind of watch them melt down and collapse. It's kind of fun. Alright, so just wrapping this up. Separate the PLA that is connected to the other ones, so I can just keep them separate. I'm try to break them up. Just want to break up any lines here. Oh. Sticky. I'm just going to let it melt for the remaining time, and then I'm going to see what we got. Alright, the majority of everything is melted now. Um, I'm going to give it a couple more minutes just to flatten itself out, and then I'm going to let it cool. See what, how they turn out. Alright, so because I have no patience, 
I'm gonna cool these off with some water because, well, I'm in my metalworking place. And uh, that's what I do with metal. That's what I'm gonna do with plastic. So, um, let's see what happens here. They seem pretty cool. Let's try to peel one of these. I like the blue. Oh, still some hotness. Oh, focus the camera there. That's a flower, I think. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it in there for just a bit more. The inside is still pretty hot. I'm just gonna peel them off like this. So, well, that's a pretty cool flower. Let's see. Let's try one of these flowers here. Let's pop them off, really. Oh, yeah, look at that. This one's pretty cool. You cut off the, the flashing, and maybe with, like, a 3D pen, you can make these, like, flowers. And some, I don't know, some little made up landscape. But, um, let's see. You can see the, uh, all the colors pretty well. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's some bubbling. Um, I don't know what to do to mitigate that. But, um, the silicone's pretty good because. It's shiny, shiny edges, smooth too, smooth to the touch. Um, I can't wait for my older molds to come in. Can't wait to try a skull. Um, I've got a few more coming in, so I'm gonna try that. Oh no, not bad. Let me see if I get a shot with all of them. So this is. This is what we ended up with. Some nice random colors. You could probably even pick some of the colors you want to make. And uh, make it cool. I like this one. I had some trans translucent orange. You could kind of see through it. It looks like jello almost. It's pretty cool.